Sing to the Dawn originated as a short story by Min Fong Ho and was later expanded into a novel. The Council of Interracial Books for Children awarded the original story first prize, and its novel adaptation was even transformed into a musical stage production. The tale begins with Dewan, a young girl residing in a rural village in Thailand, who rises early one morning. Eager to relish the freshness of the morning air, she secretly ventures outside and discovers her brother, Kwai, sitting on the nearby bridge. The siblings engage in conversation, discussing the impending announcement of an academic scholarship that will offer a student from their village the opportunity to attend school in the city. Dewan wonders aloud about Kwai's plans if he were to win the scholarship, but she holds little hope for herself due to the belief that girls are unlikely to receive such opportunities. As they return home, they encounter bags of rice stacked against their house, meant as tax payment, prompting Dewan to express her frustration with the unfairness of the situation. When Dewan inquires about the scholarship, her parents dismiss it, claiming it is futile to send girls to school. At school, Dewan's teacher appears more interested in conversing with the students than in teaching. They discuss the landlord's exploitation of the villagers, seizing their rice, until the headmaster's arrival compels the teacher to feign instruction until he departs. Subsequently, the teacher asks Dewan what she would do if she were to win the scholarship. Dewan remains uncertain, but her world is shaken when the teacher announces that she is, in fact, the winner. The other students joyfully gather around Dewan, cheering for her accomplishment, with the exception of Kwai, who feels bitter about coming in second to his sister and believes he should have won. Upon returning home, Dewan shares the news of her victory with her parents. However, instead of celebrating her achievement, their father becomes enraged, accusing Dewan of stealing the scholarship from her own brother. Only Dewan's grandmother offers support, suggesting they seek the assistance of her cousin Noi in persuading Dewan's father to change his mind. Dewan's mother decides to accompany her to visit Noi. However, upon reaching Noi's place, both Noi and her husband Gon prove unsupportive. Noi advises Dewan that the city is an unsuitable environment for a young girl, while Gon faces harassment from an army officer who demands bribes to spare him from being drafted. These encounters further highlight the unfairness prevalent in society, leaving Dewan yearning for a deeper understanding in her pursuit of creating a better world. Although her mother advises her to accept her circumstances, Dewan refuses to believe that she must settle. As they walk home, Dewan notices Kwai following them and lets her mother proceed alone. Kwai confides in Dewan, offering a proposition, if she turns down the scholarship, he will seize the opportunity instead. He asserts that Dewan is not suited for it. Resolute in her decision, Dewan declines, aware that their father will send Kwai to school regardless, but this is her only chance. At that moment, their relationship appears strained. However, Kwai eventually relents, and they share a light-hearted moment, rekindling their friendship. Kwai chooses not to disclose his second-place position to their father, safeguarding Dewan's opportunity. During dinner, Dewan's father remains steadfast in his conviction that educating a girl is futile. Dewan contemplates someone who might influence her father and recalls the old monk at the village temple. She embarks on a visit to the marketplace to procure a tribute for the monk. There, she encounters a peddler named Bao, who gifts her a lotus bud and refuses payment. Dewan is drawn to Bao's presence and shares her quest with her. Dewan reveals that it was Kwai who convinced their father to allow her to attend school. Bao confides that her own brother is akin to Dewan's father and would never permit her to pursue an education. Bao cautions Dewan that the old monk seldom takes sides in matters. Already aware of Dewan's scholarship victory and Kwai's second place, the old monk advises her to find fulfillment within the temple, arguing that mortal life ultimately leads to nothing and, thus, her goals are not worth pursuing. Dewan, undeterred, implores the monk to speak with her father. Although hesitant, the monk suggests that she seek everything she needs within the temple. Furious and disappointed, Dewan storms off from the temple. Back at the market, Bao notices Dewan's distress and allows her to release a sparrow from its cage. However, Bao's brother, Vic Hai, appears and violently beats her for freeing a valuable bird. Undeterred, Bao continues to set all the birds free, enraging her brother. Kwai intervenes, restraining Vishai's aggression. In a sudden turn of events, Kwai realizes that Bao is aware of his situation. 
He moves to harm her as well, but Dewan steps in, sacrificing her own safety. She confronts Kwai, expressing her frustration that his claims of helping the needy are empty when he refuses to support her. Noi arrives at the scene and assists Dewan in tending to her wounds. Upon their return home, Dewan notices Kwai sitting by the river, grappling with his desire for the scholarship and his belief that Dewan deserves it. Inside, their father discovers that Kwai came in second place and becomes furious. An intense argument ensues, during which Kwai asserts that he will not steal Dewan's opportunity and is prepared to decline the scholarship even if she is forced to reject it. Dewan's father finally relents and grants her permission to accept the scholarship. The following morning, Kwai is deeply upset and expresses to Dewan that life will never be the same once she leaves. Dewan implores him to continue singing their song every morning. As Dewan departs for school in the city, the entire village gathers to bid her farewell, and even her father wishes her well. However, Kwai is noticeably absent, leaving Dewan feeling saddened. Yet, as the bus passes by the bridge, Dewan is pleasantly surprised to find Kwai standing there, singing to her. She joins in, and they part ways, embarking on their respective journeys. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.